Amogos. Hey guys, it's me, your host, James B. And welcome back to British Airsoft. Today we're reviewing the French Arthur gas mask, A-R-F-A. And this one is the tan version. Before we start on the mask, let's just appreciate this sort of bag. It's very heavy, well, not bag, box almost. It's like those um, delivery bags you see. I'll put up a picture there so you see what I mean. But basically, this has straps on the back. I don't know what kind of webbing this is for, but I think it goes on webbing. Just a hunch. On the side, it has pouches. You can put stuff in there. I've got nothing in there. But let's move on to the mask. So you open up and get a little mask. And this is the mask. As you can see, the eyes are very discoloured. They're yellow. And I think these had a yellow tint in the beginning, but now they're really like hazy. And they've got marks all over them. This has a solution and you can find that if you look for it. So in terms of features, it has an XL valve here on the side. There's your intake for your filter. Voice diaphragm, and that can rotate, but not much. Then you get this port for your drinking tube, which is quite a nice feature. However, I do not have the drinking tube. And another feature that is quite common with these French and Belgian masks is these. I do not like them. But anyway, let's get a filter and try it on. So first off, you get these straps and Put your face in and you could run it like this if you really wanted to and in terms of these straps you've got to get them on which is really difficult and then pull back like that and another thing you'll be able to hear is the constant sort of farting noise when i exhale so that's a bit annoying but we'll get our test filter that we use for <laughs> so long and place it on. And there we are. This mask was made for the desert conditions and it actually replaced the ANP51. I think that's what it's called. I'll put up a picture here so you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, as you can hear, the voice diaphragm's okay. It's a bit vibrating. But I'm not a massive fan of this mask, so I'm going to take it off. And I'll just do that. But basically, the problem with this mask is it can't really get much air in very quickly at all. And it's not a problem with the filter, even when you've just got the mask in. Breathing is very difficult, but yeah, I'm not a massive fan of it, but it would work. So, another thing with this mask that's quite unusual is the rubber is extremely firm. The, the lens do bend, a bit like the M50, but yeah, the rubber's very, very stiff. It's like some of the early light anti-gas respirators complete opposite of your sort of soviet gp7 rubber that was too soft but yeah shall we test it i think we should so we'll put it on and what i would like to test with this is how good the speech diaphragm is compared to other masks so i don't need to do the spot on the strap but the reason i want to test this voice diaphragm in particular is because you'll see it's quite closed off from the mask because it's under this plastic bit and plastic thick plastic anyway doesn't do it as well as other masks so now i'll grab another mask so this is the mask that i chose to compare it to 
Reason being, it's got a thin metal cover, so you can hear how much easier it is to hear me. Also, this mask I can actually breathe in properly as well, so this mask is much better. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, you don't have to. Peace out.